Aquarius, this is your romance reading for May 2022 and I'm using the Poe de Tarot deck. You can see the review um, as it's already out there. You can see the review. I'll be using new cards. I'll also be using the Angel Tarot and the Hummingbird Oracle. Um, you come in with the Three of Wells as the overall energy. The Three of Wells, of course, means celebrations, reunion with family and friends. So perhaps you could be reuniting with um, an, uh, a past partner or an ex, but also you will be rejoicing. This could be, you could be invited to celebrations. Who knows? Now, I'm also going to read from you for you from the book about the uh, card because uh, Poe, um, Edgar, Edgar Poe he's called, um, used to be an author and a poet and he's got little verses underneath or rather the author has put verses underneath from different kind of people. Um, it can be from him but can also be from somebody else. But like I said, it means celebrations. Um, I don't see, if you're doing a romance reading, I don't see an other three. So uh, I don't think it is a third person in, uh, in the relationship. Somebody could uh, be, uh, there could be somebody that's trying to uh, put a wedge in between your relationship. Um, as we have the Queen of Quills, that's the swords. The quills are the swords. The paws, the pentacles, and the wells are the cups. The candles are uh, the wands. Um, but I don't see any sadness. But I think there could be somebody else um, always um, with you or trying to be with you. But remember, three is a crowd. So there's no sadness here because it's only positive. Um, so I don't think there is any third party in the if you have a relationship, but there could be competition if you are single. So there could be uh, somebody else around that wants to um, have the party of their life, like you are with your potential partner. If you're looking for a partner, you could be meeting uh, a partner or a potential partner. Um, at a party or a celebration as well. That's the flip side to it. Now, the uh, three of quill, uh, wells, um, according to this saying, here the sledges with the bells, silver bells. What a world of merriment their melody foretells. So this is good news. But depending on what cards are usually around a card, that can tell you what it holds in. Okay, so I believe you could be celebrating because it's lying next to the four of pentacles that um, you could be isolating yourself and not enjoying life. So uh, also you could be spending too much money partying or throwing parties. So curtail your spending. This is what it means. So tighten up the purse strings if you're spending too much money and partying. Um, and I'm hearing somebody saying burning the candle at both ends. It will not sustain you in the long run. Um, you need, you don't, uh, it's okay to let the inner child out and have a party, especially between you two. But try to make it just the two who spend quality time and not just partying with everybody around you because a jealousy can easily um, start, okay? And three is a crowd. You don't want to be the fifth wheel on the wagon or the third person in a relationship. So yes, try to get out there, be seen and introduce yourself, be the beacon so that you can partner up if you are on your own. For those that are hooked up, Yes, it's great to have a party, and, but it is also time to grow up and think about your relationship. If you want this relationship to um, grow and continue to grow, then also be a bit serious. Don't always be the party goer or the one that's lighthearted and fun and doesn't give a toss. 
care about your relationship and there could be silver bells wrinkling because this is the celebration card so for those it might be marriage but we'll have to see what the cards are going to say now i know i'm uh, it's working and that i'm on the right uh, course because um, uh, the angels or the energy is rushing through me and I'm getting boiling and it is pretty cold. The wind is coming up and there's no sun. It's already dusk. That's why I'm using false light. So if you see quavering on the screen, it's the false light. My excuses. The poem, The Bells, was published after Poe's death. Despite the celebratory feel of the image, the poem itself contains four parts that become more sinister throughout its progression. The bells themselves evoke emotional response beginning as the merriment of sleigh bells but growing ever more ominous um, and ending on a grim roll. So that's why I'm saying I didn't even know this poem. I didn't know there was a poem or something of the bells. Uh, if I think of the bells, I have to think of Quasimodo. Nothing can always stay happy, happy, happy. We've got ups and downs. So if you're in a down, try to come back up and reignite that, that, that light, that fire that brought you together or that will bring you together. But there is time to have fun and there is time to be serious if you want a fully fledged relationship now there might be a delay this is the overall energy but you come in with a hanged man perhaps it's time for you to take time out with the four of pentacles also it means isolation not only spending money or overspending money or not spending money but it means also isolation besides some other things but i'll come to that in a minute so you might be isolating shutting yourself off because usually you see a man in the traditional tarot with a pentacle above on his head in front of his chest and under his feet so he's closed himself off spiritually and also that spiritually means the chakra his thoughts his heart his emotional chakra so that is your intuitive system your gut feeling so open up let the three l's out or even four love laughter and life and love also the, um, you could be taking time out because the spiritual uh, side of the hanged man also means taking time out it's to your own doing because the hanged man hung himself this way because he was bored and he wanted to see what it was like to meditate in such a way hanging upside down also you usually see the halo around the hanged man so that is the initiation or the indication of spirituality meditation contemplation and evaluation so it's time to take time out what do you want do you want would you like to carry on if you've got a relationship or are you bored are you uh, feeling isolated within the relationship talk to each other think on how you can reignite that light that fire like i said there are two bodies the rudimental and the complete corresponding with the two conditions of the warm of the warm the sorry the worm and the butterfly so don't that's why you see a cocoon you are in you could be in a transformative uh, place at the moment because you're thinking about things on what you want and how to get it and how to go about it so set your boundaries and also know, know their boundaries and what they want so that you can come together be flexible be compromising on both sides you can come down and stop the delay something might be pending something could be outside your power but talk about it approach your partner or potential partner and start a conversation light-hearted like the party what do you, do you always go to parties do you like going to parties what do you want uh, out of life what is your career what are your hobbies those are the kind of questions that you can 
ask and talk about and find out what they want. Not, are you in a relation and what do you want out from a relationship? Do you want children? Shall we get married tomorrow? No, those are the wrong questions. First, get to know each other slowly and gently. Especially because you've got two pentacle cards and that means steady but slow. It will grow. Steady and slow will grow. That's a good title. Steady and slow will grow. And that is just like the pentacles. Okay. Wow. You can't run before you can walk. You've also got the queen of uh, guilt, uh, quills. And that's the queen of swords. Words have no power to impress the mind. Without the exquisite exquisite horror of their reality so say what you mean and mean what you say and do what you say be wise watch also your intonation the tone of your voice the words that you use if you want to impress somebody sweet nothings are just like passion they're sweet but they're nothing and that is that's not going to stand you in good stead okay so it is substantial and it will make an impression if you watch your words and you do what you say and you say what you do. And also watch your intonation. That's the talent of communication. And not a lot of people can communicate. They sit there on their telephone tapping away. That is not what a relationship is built on. A relationship is built on love, trust, respect. Um, morals, manners, standards, um, those are just a couple of things, but also and foremost, love, truth and communication. Getting to know each other so that you know what to expect from each other and that you know each other's boundaries. Cut through to the BS, go straight through to the core and be direct, but be gentle and be loving, be nurturing, be caring. The Queen of Swords represents um, Libra mainly, but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius. This could also be the Justice of the Peace because she represents municipalities and that is official institutions and other institutions like hospital, the, the registrar office, uh, the lawyer, the advocate. So some uh, uh, one of you might be taking time out on what the prenuptials are. What do you want out of the union? It doesn't have to be a marriage, but it can be also regarded as a marriage. And that is a contract. I see this piece of paper with the eight of pentacles. Usually you see a man hard at work. But with this piece of paper it looks like an old-fashioned contract written on parchment and that to me means prenuptials wills uh, you might want to um, do prenuptials and also at the same time do a will so that once you are married or if you are married to do a will that if something happens then both of you are uh, covered and protected um, of um, uh, calamities okay now also the eight of pentacles means you've got recognition so there again somebody um, somebody might have, if you're single or if you're going through a divorce then some you've caught somebody's eye so somebody could be waiting for you in the wings and absolutely lovely the true genius shudders at incompleteness, imperfection, and usually prefers silence to saying something which is not everything that should be said. So sometimes staying silent and wait for the right time in the right place um, is needed. And this is more about talking about sense, thinking what the other is thinking, getting to know what the other is thinking and what the other uh, wants and expects don't raise your expectations too high perhaps expect the unexpected that is also what is coming through as well the, 
so one um, this is what it says on the piece of paper the raven once upon a midnight dreary while i pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten law or forgotten love while i nodded nearly napping suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping rapping at my chamber door tis some visitor i muttered tapping at my chamber door only this and nothing more so if you want somebody to tap on your bedroom door and come in then be gentle communicate compromise be flexible and set your boundaries like it said something which is not everything that should be said oh sorry um tis some visitor i mutter tapping at my chamber door bedroom door only this and nothing more so don't turn your back if you want a new love to come in then definitely be yourself talk work do the work because the eight of pentacles means you've got recognition for your hard work if it is uh, with regards to money that you're worried talk to your partner about also um, this could give an indication that there could be a promotion or a wage right so that you can fulfill uh, your plans eight is also the house of money and the house of power use your power wisely whether it's physically or mentally but i think it's more mentally because it's lying next to the queen of swords she represents wisdom thoughts eager to learn and communication besides officiality the four of paws means again the four of pentacles um, isolating yourself spending too much money then it is a warning curb tail your spending keep some for a rainy day if you're not spending then beautify yourself make yourself feel great and good um, and draw attention so something you will be seen wow but it could also mean that you are in your comfort zone so come out of your comfort zone okay definitely be seen so don't isolate yourself okay uh, now we're going to use or i'm going to use the angel tarot and i did shake them before but just to let you see that i i do shake the cards i'm doing it on camera the first card we have is the emperor this could be that person that you're seeking for the will the prenuptials but it, the emperor is also represents municipalities like the registrar office so you've got two cards representing the registrar office the municipality where you get married this could mean that you could be getting married or you could be getting a proposal or you're thinking about marriage what can you expect what does it mean we do have the man and the woman so it means a couple also he the emperor represents aries so you might be getting a you might have had a proposal in aries and now you're taking your time out like taurus you're taking your time slow but steady this could be an advisor this could be a spiritual advisor could be a priest it could be a uh, um, a medium a psychic somebody like that or even your guru or your yoga teacher or meditation teacher okay or guide we've got the death card as the second card re representing scorpio wow so this means transformation this also means an ending to a face most probably an ending to sadness if you're going through divorce and you're healing this could be a doctor if you're going through divorce or a psychologist a life coach somebody to help you heal and to get through in that first stage and second stage of isolation and coming out using your brain to realize that 
there is a new beginning for you. You're in transition and transformation. There will be celebrations. But you only have to see it and willing to see it. Now, he's the skeleton, so he has no eyes. So you have to open your eyes. And hopefully also your third eye, your heart and your solar plex. So let in that love, life and laughter. Also, Scorpio is represented by death and where there is um, a transition and a transformation, think of the um, caterpillar in the cocoon developing and coming out and spreading its wings and reaching for the sky and fly like a butterfly. So feel free, let the past be the past and carry on. Open that mind and those eyes, okay? If you need help, seek help. If you need advice, get advice. There will be an unexpected change. So let the past go. Let the past go, Aquarius. Don't hang in the past. Okay? Something wasn't built on proper foundations. Something had to change. You couldn't make a choice. You couldn't make a decision. So the divine and the cosmos gave you this shake-up is all that it is it is a shake up to a new beginning you wanted adventure perhaps you wanted excitement well now you've got it stand up dust yourself off and carry on number 16 means um, a seven um, six and one is seven so luck is definitely on your side number 13 means fellowship and one and three means four so stable and productivity stability and productivity you can create stability by changing the present and the future what are you not willing to see again you're isolating here i felt more that you were isolating yourself here than not spending money or spending too much money you feel tied up what do you feel tied up about in your own uh, pity don't again tied up tied up tied up so break loose break free take back that control if you are going through a divorce take back that control you want it out or you you it broke off it's unexpected perhaps perhaps there was a third party but celebrate life now you and you've got so much to change so you've got a chance to change now to what you want so shake off the bandages take off that blindfold and see what is happening around you there's parties going on there is frivolity around you there is beauty around you um there is also uh, luck around you you've got the black cats so shrug off step through the, the the gateway of the swords and look around you not just in front of you and open up dare to open up your heart and your solar plex okay now let's see your last card and this one is sticking out the most there you are you've got your new beginning new passion new love wow absolutely amazing take that chance you've got so many characters libra you've got libra let me see you've got aries you've got scorpio uh you've got sagittarius aries again aries and leo so there is new passion but set your boundaries and start and as you start also carry on as you as the, you mean to, and carry on the mean in the way you start and know their boundaries don't get burned again wow so this is your romance reading take from it what resonates with you and you've got the hummingbird look at the windows open now the window let in the fresh air let the doors open let the open your eyes look at things uh, because your eyes are the soul the windows to your soul so open your eyes be expressive with your eyes not with just words okay fresh air and flowers so let the frag new fragrances 
experiences, ideas come out. After all, you are an air sign, so perhaps listen a little bit more and don't talk so much. This one has come out before today. It's a rather a lovely card. Now, here you are, you've got the butterfly, you've got the death. Fly, feel free. Be the hummingbird if you want to be, but just see the beauty around you. Spend time amid the natural beauty of the outdoors. Hummingbird is tapping on your window, calling you to join her where she dwells among the trees and flowers and the soothing energy of nature. If you have been considering a trip or retreat to the mountains, retreat, retreat, a break, beaches or other natural wonders, this is the confirmation that you should go. A change of scenery opens your senses, restores vitality and expands your imagination. You don't have to travel far to gain benefits of natu nature. However, just step outside your door, sit by the tree or visit a nearby park. Then ask the spirit of hummingbird to clear away your stale energy and help you release and any stress or tension you've been holding on to so that you can regain vigor, clarity and inspiration. She stands for clarity. Take off that mask. Wow. Pay attention to any animals such as butterflies, dragonflies and birds that show up as they are letting you know that indeed the universe is listening and here to help. Also, other people are help, father figures, mature people, mothers, mother figures, mother-in-law or ex-mother-in-law or your own mother. There are plenty of people or professional. As you go about your day, notice those urges that, that are calling you to go outside. When you can't physically put yourself in nature, go there in your mind, whether real or imagined. Accepting hummingbirds' invitation to play outdoors will enliven your physical, mental and spiritual being. And that's this card. Mental, visual and spiritual because it's crossed across her heart and the emotional chakra. So be ready to open up and fly. The affirmation, I take time to connect with nature, allow its healing benefits to renew and restore my mind, body and soul. If you have an, uh, if you are scared to go outside or anxious, um, then go to Google Air or YouTube and type in um, meditational music or music water and then just close your eyes and it will take you there. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, stay safe and come out of the comfort zone. Bye-bye.